The exhibition is called Mathematics. I'm inviting the viewer to imagine that mathematics is the code behind everything they see in each of these images and therefore the encyclopedic nature of the way the subjects change and jump around is really important for me to try to suggest the totality of our environment mathematics can describe. The idea that mathematics is the code behind everything goes back at least two and a half thousand years to people like Aristotle and Pythagoras and so on. And then more recently Galileo said the world is a beautiful book written in the language of mathematics. And so I was really on to something I felt. And then I made the discovery of Max Tegmark. To read just a few of his positions on the universe and the relationship between mathematics and the universe, I found utterly compelling. Namely, for example, Max Tegmark believes that the universe is a physical expression of mathematics and therefore scientists and mathematicians and so on are simply archaeologists uncovering the fundamental code. The photographs were made over about five years from Norway to Sicily and Northern Ireland to Istanbul. And of course, if you hold the position that I'm speaking about, then in theory you can make a photograph anywhere. But um, I was very, very interested in an encyclopedic range of subjects. I'll talk about one if you like. Uh, it's a photograph of a mountain. It's, uh, it's the Matterhorn and uh, it's a very sunny morning. It's about nine in the morning, so I got up early. I took the, you know, the railway up to the 10,000 feet to Gornograt. And um, I, I, I traveled to, to Zermatt, especially to photograph the Matterhorn because of its wonderful allusion to you know, plain geometry. I guess what happened was uh, I took a bunch of pictures and then I noticed the Swiss railway clock. I also happened to notice the husband and father photographing his, uh, his wife and children right in the, in the lower central area on the border of the image next to the Swiss railway clock. And I realized that I was looking at a mountain that Wikipedia says it took a million years to form. And then you go down the picture to the bottom and you've got the Swiss railway clock measuring hours, minutes and seconds. And then I walked down to meet this family coming up to the viewing platform. And uh, I stopped the guy and the father and I, I think he must have thought I was a bit weird. And I said, look, I'm working on this project about mathematics. Would you mind very much? I saw you making the picture telling me what shutter speed you use for the photograph of your family. And he was a little bit nervous, but you know, I guess he came round. And he looked on the camera, he said, one four thousandth of a second. What it means is that when you look at the photograph, you're looking at, if you like, a physical manifestation of a million years, and then hours, minutes, and seconds, and then one four, th one four thousandth of a second, um, which was the shutter speed that he used to photograph his family. I've included nine portraits in the series of 52 images in the book. It's my feeling that our use of or interest in mathematics is never without some kind of moral dimension. Five or six of the nine people portrayed in the book were asked that, um, to consider this, but I'm not making it expressly clear which five or six of the nine. It's up to the viewer to imagine. And this is what I asked them. I said, I want you to imagine a few moments ago you discovered something you'd always believed to be true was a lie. And then I waited a moment and I made the photograph. To conclude, I'm, the title of the show, Mathematics, is really the fullest invitation for the public to look at the work in the show and to go back out into the world and imagine that at the deepest level, and I stress that, mathematics is the code that everything we see around us is being given expression to.